beautiful city Guanajuato is. My husband's told me a lot about it. He probably missed you very much. Six months is a long time. He's sorry he couldn't pick you up at the airport, but uh, he couldn't leave the mine. Mines are very jealous, like most females. Is a mine a female, Pepe? Yes, that's why men risk their lives to have them. And no matter how hard you try, a mine won't surrender its treasure. If you're not lucky. Has Mark had any luck yet? Mr. Baines is a good miner and knows the trade well, but uh, in La Camada. What about La Camada? It's cursed. Come on, Pepe. Come on, let's go to the mine right away. Here you are, at your mind. Good. I'm going to look for my husband. Soy la señora Baines. Deme un casco, por favor. Sí, señora. You better wait here. Brings bad luck if a woman goes into a mine. Nonsense. Down in the end. You don't believe that crap, do you? Mrs. Bain shouldn't have come into the mine. What are you talking about? It's okay. Mr. Baines, no left hand. Somebody stole his hand. What does that mean? It's nothing. It's superstition. It's nothing. Come on, let's go. Fuji! first came out of hell from La Quemada. It's a legend, but for our elders, this was their truth. How about the truth of today? 
Today, our fantasies are much more sophisticated. Yes, like uh, dreaming of oil. Maybe you can understand why I'm having so much difficult mind. Damn legend. But my darling, that damn legend has kept all the wealth for us. Yes. La Quemada has that kind of riches that dreams are built on. Pepe, are you, are you coming with us? Uh, with your permission, Patron, I'm going to stay here to visit my dead. They know I'm here. Yeah, sure. We understand. Of course. It's a little weird. Well, perhaps a little different. <laughs> All right. Okay, then yours. What are these? It's uh, candy made in the shape of mummies. This for the other uh, mummy yummies. Oh, how macabre. Yeah. What do you want, one? I said, I'm on We have problems. What's the matter? Well, it's not going to work and I'm not going to let anyone else work, so you better get out of here quick. I've got an idea. We're going to go down into the mine. You and I. We're going to go down into the lowest level. If they see a woman going down there and coming back safely, how can they refuse? Come on. Besides, you and I can be alone. Deep is this? Deep? Huh? Oh, God, I don't know. They've been digging this mine for over 300 years. There. Listen to this. Maybe they're uh, right about that legend. God, I hope they're not. It's funny. You know, Pepe never brought me down here. This must be it. That's what they're afraid of. Chamber. Wow, look at this. Ugh. Must be hundreds of years old. Ugh. Ah! Ah! What is it? Oh, God. Oh. What are you, collecting those? Oh, let's go back. Listen, I'm getting scared now. It's all right, now, just a few ah. minutes, just a few minutes. I want to... See what's down here. Oh, sorry. Quite oh, easy. I'll just get something. Get get a board or something. I don't can't get out of here. 
Get aboard. Hurry up. Oh, hurry up. No, no! She was missing a hand, too. Let's get out of here. Oh, God, this place is really creepy. Look at this, darling. Oh, I shouldn't touch it. Why anyway. not? Ooh, we've been down here to show these guys there's nothing to be afraid of. Well, if this mine is cursed, here's their demon. Devil, we have broken your curse. Well, now the miners will have to come back to work. Vamanos. Here, here's your devil's hand. Pepe, tell him then go back to work. Nothing to be afraid of. What are you afraid of? What's the matter with you? Huh? What's the matter? All right then. Go away. I'll get someone else to work this mine. Get off this property. Don't get up. Have faith. Faith. Do you know what I've done? Do you realize all the money I borrowed? I feel like some fool takes all his grandmother's money and goes to Las Vegas and loses it all and blows his brains out. It's going to be all right. Look, I have a surprise. Some champagne for us. Your eyes. You're beautiful.
like you did. that thing away from me. Show me your hand. Take that thing away from me. What's wrong? Stay away from me. Mark. Yes, he's here. He took the men into the mine. You mean they went back into the mine? Si, senora. He's crazy. He forced them to go down there. Yeah. 
down there, man. Look what that's damn long shot in there. Lady Hunt? Lady Come on now. Come on, give me another big one. What do you say, huh? Seven, take me to heaven. Seven? Come on, eight. Okay, come on now. Come on, Jai. 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 Come on, Come on, Chief. Oh, yeah. Hey, that's what I'm looking for. Let that ride. All right. Hey, we're going there. 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 Hey, we're Hello. Yes, madam. My name is Mrs. Mark Baines, and I wondered if you'd seen this man. Mm, another Mrs. Mark Baines. If you knew how many Mrs. Baines had been in this hotel today, you'd lie down on the floor and laugh yourself silly. Well, well, I'm sorry, but I am Mrs. Jennifer Baines, and my husband is in trouble. Well, I'm sorry, madam. It's, it's a policy of this hotel not to give out information about hotel residents. If you'd like to contact them through the house phones, they're right around the corner. Yes, Mr. Mark Baines, please. He's not taking any calls. Well, would you mind paging him, please? Mr. Mark Baines, call the operator, please. Seven, Shitter. Everybody's happy. Look at him. All right. All right. What do we want? Seven. Seven, huh? Seven. Seven. Yeah, I like it. Four. Give me a three. Three. Brad, take a lap. Yeah, I like it. Take the car down the road and hide it. Okay, honey. This 
dude's clean. He hasn't got an apparatus on him. Nothing. Not a thing. Do you think he's all right? He's all right. You okay, son? Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, wake up. there he is. Wake up, Bozo. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's lucky. You went the wrong way. The money's at the safe at the casino. We don't want your money, pinhead. Oh, I don't know how you did it. What? Meet this attractive people? No, no. I want to know how you threw 23 straight passes without switching the dice. That's what I want to know. How'd you do that? Beginner's luck. Oh, let me tell you about luck. There's an easy way and a hard way. Now, the easy way, you tell us we let you go. We all cash in, get rich. And the hard way, cut those hands off and feed them to the coyotes. That's fool, you fool! Well, this is the last unidentified body. What about the, uh, girl who left the hotel with Mark? We've got good news and bad news. Go ahead. Well, they found the girl. Dead. Oh. Where? California, about 20 miles across the state line. There are two other bodies nearby. Were they men? Yeah, both. One was a gambler. His name was Frankie Phillips. He's got the usual rap sheet. Extortion, fraud. Who was the other one? Well, he was badly burned. They assume it's the owner of a neighboring shack. That was Mark. What? Some relative supposedly identified the body. All right, they shipped it to Los Angeles for burial. It's Our Lady of Hope Cemetery in Englewood. Might want to check that out. I will. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. In sure and certain hope of the resurrection unto eternal life.
Thank you, my son. Confusion, Father, stirring inside of me like the wind that sent your Bible into the dust. The signs like that, wherever I notice, all saying the same thing. Turn away. Father, I ask your forbearance. I ask deliverance from doubt. Amen. Madam, I'm sorry, but the church is closed. Oh, I didn't know God punched a clock. No. No, he's available to anyone at any time. His emissaries, though, are, are merely human. Good, because then you'll understand the problems of another human being. The man you buried was my husband. I was told he was an old prospector who roamed the desert most of his life. Did you ever see the body? No. Was an autopsy ever performed? Well, it wasn't necessary. The poor man was burnt beyond recognition. I'm going to insist that the grave be opened. Well, you'll have to talk to all the officials. You know, basically, the unearthing of a body is, is legally complex. You're going to need a good reason, Mrs. Baines. That's perfectly right. May I see the grave now, please, Father? Thank you. I came to you first, Father. I want you to know that. If this were a case that could be solved with reports, stating facts, numbers, logic, then I would have involved the police. So you came to me because of the weirdness of this. The supernatural, the black magic, the curses, the demonic possession. Well, if that's your reasoning, you can be sure that you've come to the wrong person. You think I'm a fool, don't you, Father? I'd say very complicated. I'm sorry to have been so brusque just now, but it's very urgent that I see his grave. I understand, Miss Baines. You might gain some solace from just being near the grave. I see now, where are we? Some place close by here. Yeah? Aye. Here we are. Uh oh. What sort of a disturbed person would violate a grave? He did it. My husband, the man that you buried. This grave was not dug up. It was dug out from the inside. Look, Father, there are no shovel marks. The earth was heaved up and out. And the coffin, look, the wood is splintered, just as if it had exploded. Hmm. Well, uh, come on, let's go. You coming? Wait! You blessed the grave. Evil defiled it. Now, is that a personal defeat that you cannot accept? I cannot accept your whole theory. And yours? Well, your husband won a lot of money. Perhaps he made some enemies. Why would they want his body? There is no proof that the body I laid to rest was your husband's. 
It was Mark's body. The graves have been vandalized before. Vandalized? Unfortunately, they will be vandalized again. Just as long as priests remain blind. It's apparent to me that the police should be notified. That's IL-3, Section 1. You'll find what's left at the grave. Yeah, I'll take a quick look. Say, tell me, Leo. What exactly do you hope to find? I really don't know, Father. These kind of creeps really get me down. And I think I'm going to quit. Before you do, you better talk to me. A long talk. Sure, Father. Real soon. Good night. Father, do you believe that God is the ultimate source of good? That's not a serious question. Do you? What's your point? My point is that if you do, you must believe in an evil force opposing God, capable of causing destruction. Not in the form of a 300-year-old hand that crawls. No. <laughs>
here last night? Nothing. I finished my report and I left. We heard a gunshot. I didn't. You certainly left in a mighty hurry. But call me, man. What's the matter with you, father? You're beginning to sound like a cop. We found a body. Its left hand severed off. Maybe a cult of uh, weirdos out to cast a spell. Maybe a group trying to appease an angry god, huh, father? It's a possibility. That talk you and I were going to have. Why don't we have it? Sounds like what happened. You quit. I kind of like my job now. Why the change? Maybe it was a graveyard last night. You know, we're not here for very long. Might as well make the most of it. I wonder how that stuff looks in the rain. It's been a long time since I've been in one. Let me see if I can find you a sparring partner. All right. How about Hoyt? How about me? All right. You're on. I'm up. like this when I when I overuse it what can I do for you father I need your help did you speak with sergeant Matson? better than that I fought with him and he doesn't have any superhuman powers it was a friendly match well then the hand does not possess sergeant Matson. well there's another line of reason oh that there is no hand right miss Baines you're distraught grieved Emotionally wrought. Father, I'm staying at the cottage inn. It's bungalow 17, the number's on the card. And I'll be there until I destroy the hand. Excuse me, ma'am. Is this your car? Oh, hello. It's uh, Sergeant Matson, isn't it? 
I asked about your car. Yeah, this is my car. It's rented. Stolen. What? You can't be serious. You remember me. I met you with Father Cunningham last night. Well, I, excuse me. I mean, I have a rental contract if you want to see that. I'm not a car thief. Right now, you're a suspect, and suspects have to go to the station. Now, wait a minute. I mean, have I got a choice? We all have choices, man. Well, you're not giving me any. You're wasting time. You are making a big mistake. And you're under arrest. Ow! Oh, God. What the hell is this all about? You know what the hell it's all about. Officer, what can I do for you? What do you want? I want you to cut my hand off. I didn't think she'd come in yet. Well, if you don't mind, I'll wait here for her. Okay. Oh, Jennifer. Father, good afternoon. Lovely day for jogging. Mm. We have to thank the Lord for the for the lovely weather. Yes, we do. What are you going to do with the hand? In a word, it's your gift. You set it free. Now it's yours. Uh-uh. No straps, no gas, just cut. evil, you and I must obey. It's going to be very painful because this cauterizes as it cuts. Sorry, Mrs. Baines is not in the room yet. 
Would you tell her that Father Cunningham called? And for her to give me a call no matter what time she comes in. Okay. Thank you, Father. How do you feel? Be careful. Sarah, please. this hand, you will be very proud of me. and dreams, my love. It was reported that a patrol car was sitting here all night. It could be Madsen's.
This is Matson's car, all right? I better call headquarters. I wish I could have it. But it is yours forever. its freedom so when mark died the hand became mine oh it captured others yes but uh, inevitably just to get back to me i'd like to help you jennifer you have helped father well i mean more than that i mean ultimately to destroy this thing oh <laughs> the armor of religion sword of belief 
that's part of it. Yes. Mm. Do you believe that there is a hand? Well, there's something. But you question your faith. I heard it the first time I met you in the church. Do you think that this hand will destroy me? It has others who've been vulnerable. Everything will be back to normal soon. Will you get some sleep? And I'll arrange for police protection for you. Sleep won't help. Nor will the police. But you could pray for me. There's a dying man. Can you administer last rites? You've got it. There's no way to get him out. Dead. Jill. Jill. She's dead for real. Who am I going to get my clothes? KG, you just don't understand. People are dying. Good luck, sweetheart. Find some clothes in here. Newton, change there.
are you calling? I'm trying to get through to the police. The police? What are they going to do? They're going to arrest it, cite it, try it for murder? You think they're going to believe you? They'll believe me. They'll find it and destroy it. The hand will kill again. Fawn, it's dead. It's going to the church. Jennifer? Answer me!
Not him. Not him. Take me.
Don't fear, my child. Death is deliverance. to the sea, ashes to the depths, dust to eternal rest, in hope of no resurrection. Thank God it's over, Father. Sorry, ma'am, your doorbell doesn't seem to be working. I've got a package here for a uh, Mrs. Baines. Yes, yes. Here you go. If you'll just sign at the bottom. Thank you. You bet.